I'm Sophie O'Neill and I'm September 2019 Playmate. Probably should say this, but Playboy was never like a goal of mine. I think after Playboy, like yes, it boosted my like the, in the right direction of my career, but I was putting like a sexy box. How many followers did you have prior to Playboy? It jumped up like a hundred. Hundred thousand. Yeah. Um, but I think any more, I'd be a bit overwhelmed because nice. also I'd be like because of what, how people recognise me, like... <clears throat> <laughs> a bit like, oh, you're talking to me normally, but I know you've seen me kind of naked. <laughs> um, there was a guy and a girl, and he clocked. And then I think she was like, what are you staring at? And she was like, you've seen Playboy. And I was like, oh no, it's gonna be, please don't break up in front of me. <laughs> I think that's how I kind of overcome the whole shyness and like just, because I think I was always, scared of being embarrassed sensational and go Woo! <laughs> sophie o'neill welcome welcome thanks welcome. so much for coming thank you for having me sophie o'neill is a model yes uh, we've had the discussion before <laughs> you're did. just a model <laughs> <That's> true, <babe. laughs> she is a model just a model <laughs> just a model and tell us a little bit about yourself before we go into the, the magic details why is this the hard discussion this should be so easy come on um i feel like what like qualities or just <laughs> what i like, <laughs> like my this isn't an interview i promise <laughs> i know i'm like <laughs> so, <laughs> no, more about like what what uh, maybe not how old you are it's a bit personal but um, tell us a bit about your journey as a model yeah I think well I think it's been a bit up and down but I think that's probably like most usual like that's a common answer for this industry mm -hmm. um, I mean I've never like once thought even if when it's down like I've never thought oh I'm quitting I'm done mm. like, I still have that passion where I'm like need this is what I want to, want to do mm. um, has it been that way since you were a kid or was it kind of a recent thing the modeling uh, I probably wanted to be one when i was younger but i would never dare tell anyone in case they go you really like i never really? i was never confident oh, wow. like i was oh. always quite insecure and really shy so the fact that saying something like that i was like no i'm gonna keep that to myself for a bit what sure. made you change that um oh well i think i was kind of in the industry like i did hair and makeup for like um theatrical tv and like films and stuff um oh, wow. that was what i did in uni and that was fun yeah <laughs> but then out of straight out of uni you need to build a portfolio like you do with modeling now mm -hmm. but um so i just went on instagram because it was kind of like the new thing you know it wasn't like it was now so it was very like everyone was willing to do ev anything you know and i was looking for photographers and they were like can you model i was like <laughs> I could try. Oh wow! <laughs> and oh, then so I that's just, how you got into it. Yeah, it wasn't something no, that you no. I mean, I still kind of it. wanted to do it. Like mm. I think with the whole like, makeup thing, you think, oh, like uh, that looks nice. I want to do that. But I would never <laughs> say it. You know, I'd be like yeah. I'm just going to quietly like make my way there, and it just happened. Mm. And then I just ended up not doing makeup at all, and I mm -hmm. just left it behind and done more. So you didn't do any makeup at all? No, I think I did, <laughs> I think I did like a couple bridal shoots, like um, no, weddings and stuff like that. Oh, okay. And um, a few like f like film, like short films and stuff like that. But it soon, I think when modeling was on the cards, I was like, actually, no, I'm actually, you prefer now that. that people have actually said, oh, can we, can you model for us? I was like, yeah, okay. <laughs> like, I'm not scared to like say it because someone's actually approached mm. me, you yeah. know? Because I was, I think that was my, because I had no confidence, had no experience. Mm. I was a bit scared to like actually approach someone, you know, yeah, and say, so can, can I, space. you know, yeah. So you get your first ever shoot yes. with a photographer. Yeah. When was this, by the way? <sighs> mm. Well, I, I think of it, like, I signed with you guys like 2019. 20, well, I think 2018. Really? I yeah, know. I think it was. Oh, it's blur. Like it was years. so long ago. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't remember anything. Yeah. Um, but you've done your first ever shoot, what, 2016, 2017? Yeah, 2016. Cause I think I wanted to um, build a portfolio, see if it was something that I could was good at or could potentially go down in like a career. Mm. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, I just did a lot of test shoots just to, again, build confidence and make sure that, you know, I could and just do it you know like I felt comfortable doing it mm -hmm. and then I just yeah I just happened to be good just happened well just yeah happened to be good. <laughs> I mean when you look at photos mm -hmm. back like now from back then I'm like oh my god I'm so glad I, I like, definitely improved yeah but I think that happens with anything you know you learn your ways <laughs> and what not to do 100%. And, like you definitely just grow a bit how did it feel to do your first ever test shoot 
how was it was it were you super nervous i can't remember <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a fever dream <laughs> it was like a, i think it was a beach shoot as well so i think oh, like wow. the commute down like not commute because it was it was like two hours but That's like which a, is commute yeah, yeah. yeah. But it didn't Going feel like you know it was a long time um and i think there was another model there so it was kind of less pressure mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. so and we had none of, no one had met so it was all like first time for everyone yeah. um, which is kind of a good way and there was no like makeup artist which I've learned is kind of the best thing like when you first walk into like a set um, you kind of just automatically just get drawn to the makeup artist because they well they drag you in <laughs> and then you get talking to them so the conversation starts going you start to open up a bit more and then yeah. like the, any like nervousness you have just kind of goes because you've got to like talk to someone mm. Cause I think the main people like photographer and everything like that production they're all busy doing their thing so they're like oh no she's getting ready to leave her to her leave her to that and then yeah so it's definitely I don't know kind of going on a bit no no, <laughs> no not but, at all um, it's kind of I get you it's kind of like the warm up stage yeah at, like, yeah and it's nice it's like a reassuring like okay you can kind of get a sense mm-hmm. of how the day is going to go and yeah. it's just a nice kind of vibe <laughs> I, mean, I think it's interesting for people watching to see you know you came from the idea of you can't model you thought you couldn't model you wanted to model but you didn't have feel confident enough to yeah, say it yeah. to verbalize it yeah to where you ended up which is obviously we're going to get there in a, in a bit but <laughs> that journey i feel people watching who don't model who are also yeah. not confident yeah will be looking at you going ah okay this is yeah, the step I feel trip. like if you want to do it and it's something that you're like passionate about but like even secretly I feel like just give it a go like there's no harm in trying you mm. know and I think if you really try at it you can get there or at least say you tried mm. um, which is I think good with anything really not just modelling but just it kind of works with anything I no think. absolutely did you when you got your first pictures back because I know before that you were like oh I can't model when you got your first pictures back were you like I can model you're like okay um, yeah, I was like okay. yeah I was like oh that's not a bad angle like, <laughs> <laughs> that's maybe not my too shabby <laughs> that's, that's not my bad side after all um, yeah I was definitely a bit shocked I was like oh like because I think when people model like or they take the piss and like say um, oh you're a model and they start pouting and stuff like that I'm like no that's not actually what you do like I think a lot of my good work is when I'm candid as well like a lot of mm-hmm. people like smiley kind of just natural and I definitely learned that's just the way to go like it's, but if it's for something else then you know you do what mm-hmm. you know but I think it's very easy just to just to be you just gotta be yourself really mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. and it really works and it shows as well so yeah it's also that idea of so you said when you first started off your pictures were good but yeah. you got better and better over time yeah yeah because I remember that you applied to the agency before I, you got accepted yeah and we didn't sign you that time and then you went off and you done some more shots oh God, I don't remember any of yeah. this yeah <laughs> <You went laughs> I must you, have blocked it out <laughs> like, don't, that didn't happen <laughs> no you did and I remember seeing your pictures and then you sent your new pictures over <gasps> yeah okay I think yeah yeah and we were like okay cool let's let's do this because yeah, it was like a really. huge yeah huge upgrade I from definitely where you wanted were. I think that was the whole thing about um approaching agency like I wanted enough like pictures there to fall back on in case all oh, that's crap let's mm. put that out of the way you know mm. and I just wanted a lot and I, I don't think maybe a bit versatile but I think I stuck to something that I liked like I knew that mm-hmm. I could do that I felt comfortable but also I think it changes with like styling and makeup and everything yeah. um, but I think I was pretty basic to start out with just so it's like a safe kind of mm-hmm. but um perhaps show potential yeah <laughs> and yeah. hopefully second bit too. <laughs> yeah but I guess that was your decision to to switch things into the next stage of like being yeah. more confident with your body yeah. being more confident with the pictures that you're, you're getting back as well mm-hmm. yeah that was your decision to to, to to get to that level where you feel like okay I can start doing this now yeah that's what I think where I decided was like, oh okay I actually really enjoy this like I'm not just going to give up now because I got one note so I was like, keep going. <laughs> did that see what happens? Yeah. Did that no make you feel more determined to push through? Um, I think I was already determined. Thing. I think I Amazing. I just wanted to. I think after like a few photo shoots, and I thought, oh, this is quite like I enjoy this. Like mm-hmm. I thought, oh, can't just let one. No offense, <laughs> one like <laughs> <laughs> get right. <laughs> <laughs> I can't just get like one no and be like, oh, that's it. You know, like I think because I did enjoy it. I was like, I'm willing to like see if 
and go somewhere else mm-hmm. or, yeah. you know yeah. stuff like yeah. that oh that's so, incredible but yeah it definitely like I think the confidence I think modeling has made me confident mm. like I think as you mm-hmm. get older I think you gain that anyway because like life experiences blah 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 but <laughs> blah 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 <laughs> <laughs> just a casual thing but um I think modeling's definitely helped with confidence because you've got to meet mm-hmm. you're meeting new people all the time like you can't hide like everyone can sense like on camera you can tell everything like if you're uncomfortable it picks up straight away 100 um and i think as well a lot of people go for like character and personality and you need to show that and you need to feel comfortable showing that yeah um so yeah i like that so when you posted your first pictures on social media what was the response from your good and i think i don't know how just good or great yeah, I, I liked it. <laughs> I was like, because I, I like the photos. I think I've always posted stuff that I like, you know. I'm not posting for what other people, okay. I think, what people want me to post. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, which I think some people, like, not that it's a terrible thing, but I think a lot of people do post because they think that's what their followers want to see. 100%, and I think that's yeah. where Instagram gets a bit toxic because then you don't enjoy it. Like, you don't see it as in like a, True. oh, I'm going to have, you know, I want to post it. You, you don't, you, you know, it's... Mm. Um, <laughs> you post your first pictures on Instagram, you get loads of likes. You're like, mm, no? Not really loads of likes. I don't think I had, I think the only people that followed me were the people that I knew. So oh, really? So you didn't have a big following then? No, okay. I think that grew when people were like, do you know when it comes up in the search bar mm. and then people would like repost and then tag redhead and then it would just go nuts. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, like, pa- like or like <laughs> tag. <laughs> <laughs> wow! And all people would tag like redhead pages with a lot of followers, and I think that's where I got a lot of mine. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it works engagement me. tips from Sophie O'Neill. You had it here first. You had it. <laughs> that's crazy. That yeah, it's really it's, um, I kind of didn't realise what was going on at first and I was like what and do you know when something like when you you're really funny this is funny I think do you know when um you go on Instagram and that red icon, like like icon, keeps popping up. It's mm. like I've opened it. Like go away. <laughs> there's all these like oh redhead pages. Oh, that sounds really like you know. But there's loads of these pages like just like and follow me. I was like, who, who are you? you know? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who <laughs> is she. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god. <laughs> So oh, you got loads of followers from redhead pages, from redhead pages <laughs> yeah. which is cool. Um, okay, so <laughs> back so on you, track. Yes, so you get signed by yes. Fame Agency in 2018. A few months after, you get the Playboy job. Yes. Talk us through that. Once, what? How were you feeling when did you get put forward for this job? How did it work? No, this is from yourself. Me. Yeah. <laughs> they mm-hmm. found oh, me on really? Instagram. Okay. Um, the casting lady sent me a message via their Instagram mm-hmm. and just ca- kind of like gave like the main, like the gist of it, like of what they wanted from me, I guess, if I went with them. And um, yeah, just went from there, like a lot of questions, like back and forth, like my uh-huh. end, their end, and then a few Skype calls. And then I was like, I think I need to get more because I think I might be out of my depth here because it's in America and stuff like that. No, I was like, okay, I think so I need help different. from over here. Mm. Just to like, I think as well, like, um, I didn't really know who to talk to. Like, is this like, is this legit? Like, f- that's the first thing I thought of, even sure. though they had a blue tick. I was like, um, this someone might be pulling my leg here, yeah. you know? Yeah. Um, and I think I needed a bit more. I think that's what agencies like do. They help and, you know, they see you know make sure it's legit and everything yeah. but um so yeah it just happened from there really like they asked a lot of questions I guess because um they had like four issues a year so there's three models in every one and I think they wanted to make sure that I was a right fit for one playboy and two what comes with it and what issue like what to put me in mm-hmm. like what issue and they put me in the summer one which is the gender and sexuality issue and they asked me all my thoughts on that, like my thoughts on the LGBTQ community is such a long, mm. um, and I was like, I was a bit worried because like, I'd done my stalking, <laughs> literally like detective mode was activated. <laughs> <laughs> so I'd like stalked all the other like girls they'd used before in the magazines. Stalk sounds so bad though. Researched. <laughs> Re- yeah, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I, um, I definitely did my research and I was a bit like, oh, how am I fitting into this because everyone's got like a story to tell in terms of like their like gen- like gender and sexuality mm. or like but it was a lot about like mental health and stuff like that and I was a bit like oh I'm 
I don't know how I'm going to have an input here, you mm. know. So I was a bit worried. But then I think when they asked me the questions and I replied, they were th- obviously thought she was like good enough to like stick her in that magazine. Stick her in. <laughs> <laughs> You're downplaying this so much, Sophie. Honestly, this she is, is incredible. <laughs> but I think it was just, um, I think the, her, just how I answered the questions. They think, oh, she's, you know, she can, if needs be, like if there's an interview, like she could say something, like not stick up, but, like. Support, her views yeah, yeah and support it because mm. although I don't have any experience in that community or anything like that I support it um, and I think there's a lot of people who don't really understand or back then anyway I think now it's more spoken about yeah yeah. but back then it wasn't really like there's a lot of different terms of how you identify yourself there still is mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, that I don't really know all of them but mm-hmm. I think um, a lot of the girls who I researched <laughs> um, they had they'd gone through so much and mm. to hear how they like dealt with that and use playboy to speak about it as a platform on a pl- big platform i was just like oh that's really inspiring like even not even like their stories but how they put across how they how they're confident and it was just very and i think that's part of why how i did like what made me say yes in a way Mm -hmm. like Mm because i did my research and i just i just felt really like empowered and like oh you know i'm got confident just from reading all their experiences and how they make everyone else feel by just by saying how they feel you know yeah if that makes sense it does i love that um so yeah it just kind of happened like i was a bit um nervous <laughs> um just because i it's once it's there it's there like it's yeah. it's not it's out in the internet it's not going anywhere like anyone can see it from like 10 years five years or whatever yeah um so i was a bit apprehensive but i think um the, one of the main reasons why i did it was because it was like a stepping stone like i knew into the industry like i didn't know like i think it was good a door open and be like she's in like that was my way in in a way you know and it did what i wanted it to do so yeah Aww. how obviously playboy has a stigma to it yeah of nudity and so forth how did it feel to have that phone call that zoom call the the, the messages that decision that you had to make knowing that you were gonna have to obviously yeah. be pretty much nude in the yeah. magazine mm-hmm. um compared to what you were doing prior to that where you weren't nude in your pictures before that no i think i'd done a few implied but nothing implied, that i was yeah. like hello like <laughs> nothing <laughs> like that you know yeah so it was a whole new thing like okay. i'd never done you know um and i think when you say playboy you automatically think of like 80s 90s yeah like mm-hmm. kind of sleazy yeah and yeah. not tasteful yeah. but like yeah. now I think when I do my research I realised that it's a lot more tasteful like it's mm. not what you think and like I think when I told my mum and dad my mum was like nope I was like yeah, but it's not what you think it is like back then it's mm-hmm. completely different now and um, and the fact that they have like a they've used their platform to share like good like important subjects it's I think that's kind of swayed me as well because it's not just about for, I, I know it's a visual thing, like it's a magazine, people see the pictures, people probably go straight to the pictures, mm. but I think that's with any magazine, you know, you, you just go straight to the, f- I do. <laughs> yeah, no, I hear you. <laughs> um, but it, I was a bit... Uh, Dubious. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah, I definitely had my doubts, but I think I was like, no, if I really want to do modelling and stick at it, like mm-hmm. this is a good way in. Um, and it's a good way like I said I've I've never been like confident and I, that was gradually coming I was like why am I going to stop now just you know and I feel like I was getting there mm-hmm. and that really made me like I feel like a much better place like mentally like I don't I probably shouldn't say this but Playboy was never like a goal of mine mm. I never wanted to do never something I thought I was going to do but then looking back like where I'm at now like mentally Playboy helped me get in like a good place because I learned about like I don't know, just how to be confident, and it's yeah. not all about just. I, d- I don't know. Is it, no, is I hear it. Sorry. Please. A- again. <laughs> Every time you're going to get this multiple times during this conversation. Thank you. I'll be quick. Um, I, Take was time. Just, I was just going to say, like, I hear that. I think because Playboy is such, like, the consensus of the shoots that you that are in Playboy that the models are so vulnerable. Mm. Yeah. Like, like you can't hide behind anything. Everything yeah. exactly. So I can so imagine that sort of on the flip side, really helping you with your confidence and yeah. sort of mentally bolstering yourself, being like, well, I've just done this huge thing. Yeah. You know. And a lot of people think like, um, because you are, you know, 
not exposed yeah mm. literally <laughs> because you are exposed a lot of people think um like quite negatively that you've done it because you want people to be like oh my god you you look amazing or mm-hmm. like stuff like that like oh i wanted the attention from guys and st- that's not why i did it like i don't think people realize that it's you're very vulnerable when you're like exposed like that or even mm-hmm. just yeah even i don't know you're just very it's a completely different like that's not why i did it um, and I think people automatically think that's why, uh-huh. because of you want the validation of mm. being like, you look amazing, like blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I mean, it's nice to hear like nice things said about you, but that's not what I wanted mm. from it, you know? Sure. Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> no, I, I get that. And so how did, did that ever affect you sort of the, cause like Marcus said, Playboy is quite a stigmatized platform. Mm. So with people's opinions and not necessarily them being positive, did that affect you in any way? And how did you sort of overcome um, that? Doing I the think it probably huge? helped that in America, it's like the normal over there. Like really? it's bigger in America. Over here, everyone's still in the 80s, 90s, like not tasteful, not seen as like an art or anything like that. And I think when I did it, COVID happens <laughs> shortly <laughs> after. So everyone kind of forgot. But um, yeah. I didn't really get like the whole... Um, I was quite lucky where I didn't get very negative, like, nasty messages. Um, I just got the misconception of why I did it. Mm-hmm. That's okay. the only thing that I felt, walked away and was like, well, oh. and obviously the obvious, like, people telling you in descriptive details what they think about your photos <laughs> isn't the massive, um, <laughs> was probably the worst things about <laughs> it. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. <laughs> 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 How many followers did you have prior to Playboy? Uh, it jumped up like a hundred. Hundred thousand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's me, like just a hundred. <laughs> but like 100, overnight 000, as well, Jesus. because overnight. I, well, it got announced um, June. Time? Announced on their socials. Yeah. Okay. Um, so got, you done? Sorry to interrupt you. No, it's fine. So. In February, did you go over to LA in March? March, you done yeah. the shoot there. It was warm, and I was like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> and they were like, "You're you're you're a Brit, you're ginger, and you should like calm down." <laughs> and I'm like, "No, I haven't seen sun in March before." <laughs> yeah, so that's how I know it was in March. <laughs> okay, and then. Um... <laughs> trying to like lather yourself in SPF you're like absolutely not <laughs> it's too much it's on our sunny. break I was like, mm. like you're gonna burn I was like leave me <laughs> bring me a bottle of oil <laughs> ASAP <laughs> so you've done the shoot in March they announced it in June on their socials yeah and then pretty much straight away 100k I mean my they kind of staggered it because my month was in September mm-hmm. so September was kind of all about me in a way but then the other model her was August and hers was July so mm. the other one was July so they announced it in June but they kind of did it as in like a step by step so they didn't announce it all at once mm-hmm. I don't think I don't think so no because no. I remember I was on a flight to go to LA because they had like a um, had jazz another, festival yeah and they had like a oh I had to do all the interviews and stuff like mm. that um, which was interesting <laughs> like quite fun to do Um but, and I'd already met some of them before, so it was like a nice, like, oh, nice to meet, like, like mm. kind of like family, like mm-hmm. automatically. Mm-hmm. Um, everyone was really, really lovely. So it was nice to like see them again and, and stuff like that. But then I was on the flight and I think when I landed, they'd announced me and I was like, oh, do you know when you land, it takes forever to get a signal and you've yeah. got to wait. And I was like going through security, like, oh no. <laughs> I got like, do you know when they don't let you through the first bit of security and I was like, fingerprint please. I was like, fingerprint? <laughs> I just want to see my Instagram. <laughs> what's going on? Just before I give you that, what's the Wi-Fi password? <laughs> just real quick. <laughs> Literally. No but, um, yeah, so it was all going off and I was like, oh, I just want to see what's, what they posted because I was had... Was you worried about what like backlash or yeah the backlash like that. at um, that moment when you were going- a little bit because I had looked at which probably wasn't a good thing but I had looked at the because they released the two girls before me yeah mm. I had looked at the feedback feed comments um, on there so you had like almost a template of what yours yeah, would be like and okay. they weren't that one of them was really good but the other one was not that good they had really nasty comments but it was only because she's like she's transgender so she there was oh, always going to be a bit of yeah. but okay so I, uh, but 
it wasn't like realistic like of me thinking oh i'm gonna get that too you know mm. it wasn't the same thing yeah. but i was like oh people can be nasty like the yeah. internet i know that That's you, you shouldn't take it to heart because they don't know you you don't know them but it it's still like seeing that mm-hmm. I'm like whoa of that's course. not what you, you can think of stuff like that mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and it's right in front of you and I, this girl is like the loveliest girl ever mm-hmm. and she's getting all this hate just because she wanted to do what she wanted to do mm-hmm. like it was mm-hmm. her life mm-hmm. yeah. she made that decision and she's getting so much hate from that I'm like you be surely it's who you are as a person not what you look like or what yeah. you've done yeah. it's who you how you actually like come across and like portray yourself mm-hmm. and I guess you don't really see that on like Instagram and stuff like that, but yeah. um, you just see a photo and words like come, you know, every day. Also, Playboy so is sure. typically going to be guys, and I guess mm. when they see a transgender person on Playboy, yeah, those yeah. guys in America who maybe haven't seen the world are very shocked. Yeah, you know what I mean? um, and then feel like they have something to say about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. In actuality. They like take yeah. it personally. I'm like, they well, you don't. Yeah. What's it got to do yeah. with you? Mm. <laughs> you like, you, it's, yeah. you, you know, exactly. Okay, you finally get Wi-Fi. Finally got Wi-Fi. Finally got Wi-Fi. Finally got Wi-Fi. You look at your phone. Brrr. Yeah, yeah. See that noise. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know where Brat. to start though. <laughs> <laughs> Brat. Brat. Oh. <laughs> it was a bit. I went through a couple, and I was like, okay, I think I've had enough now. I'm gonna be here all day. I need to have a life. Like, um, one, I'm jet lagged, and two, like, I'm, you know, just there's a time for that. And mm. when you're in bed, can't sleep. There's a, that's the time. Mm. <laughs> not when it's like three o'clock in the afternoon. Like, I wanted to go out and do stuff. Yeah. Um, and it's not like biggest deal in the world like it's like it was a new thing but it's not the most (laughs) no but it's not the most important thing you know like it wasn't something I was like oh I gotta stop everything because I need to check how many followers I've got you know it's not like that I just Mm -hmm. I I saw a glimpse and I was like okay like there seems to be like a good (laughs) reaction to it like that's enough cover a playboy all right I mean no no no, I'm just kidding I'm just kidding just like the reaction like I saw a few good ones and I was like oh that's nice and then I was like okay I'm not gonna look like I don't want to go into that hole you know like yeah no I get it yeah because you can get really sucked into those things going through the comments looking at the engagement I understand totally Mm -hmm. but um did do it eventually but just not (laughs) oh you did do it It's not right there and then like four months down the line I was like I wonder how that did a little boost a little boost (laughs) no I love that just before we crack on with the timeline I just wanted to go back to the conversation you had with your parents about this and you mentioned your mum automatically was like no how did you ever get your parents on board what was the conversation there for you to do Um, something like this I mean my mum and dad are very different like my mum's very like um, conservative yeah my dad's just like if it makes you happy do it and that was his reaction straight away I was like but you're really? my dad like <laughs> I'm your little like girl you know mm. but he was absolutely fine he's like Sophie if you want to do it just do it like I, I can't stop you and my mum was a bit like she didn't see she obviously thought that but she couldn't see past the playboy part yeah, yeah. and sure. the fact that the her thing. friends are going to see or possibly you know like or and I think my worst nightmare was like my cousins or my uncle seeing you know <laughs> like yeah still probably is actually <laughs> 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 um, and like my brother like I think his friends saw like because mm-hmm. like Instagram they followed me I was like I thought I blocked you all like <laughs> <laughs> I blocked my brother because I was like I don't want you him seeing you blocked your brother yeah I like that. I don't want him seeing this because like <gasps> I feel like he gets a lot of stick from his because we're twins and we look nothing alike oh are you and I think okay. he gets a lot of sticks from his friends just like because they know it winds him up mm-hmm. like oh your sister's you know model blah blah mm-hmm. blah like good mm-hmm. looking you're not <laughs> I <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't, I don't say that. But, he, but um, <laughs> maybe you want to block your brother from this too. Yeah. Just, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think he's no. still blocked on Instagram. So oh my god! Oh my god! Four years later. No, <laughs> no you got to do what you got to do. Do you know what I, I just mean? think it's I because. <laughs> I have a personal oh, Instagram. We follow each other on that one. Oh, there you it's not go. Blocked there you that go. One. Oh, okay. That's so just for like friends one. and family, uh-huh. but the model one. He He's didn't done. want it. He didn't like seeing it either. Like, no, there you go. I'm not surprised. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Like, oh, no, 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 moving you on. Take the steps. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> no. <gasps> moving on. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Just before. So your mum. Oh, yeah. Wasn't um, on board with this. It's not that she wasn't. Um, she knew she couldn't stop me. And I was like, well, the flight's in like a week. So. <laughs> and she was oh like, oh, God. okay then. And then when it happened, like I sent her, um, no, 
not when it happened because I didn't get any behind the scenes because you couldn't post anything mm. but when I got the behind the scenes and I got like the magazine in front of me I was like um I can put an emoji where I need to like do you want to see it because yeah show me like I want to see like what you've gone all that way for <laughs> you know yeah. and like um she was she didn't she was happy like she was she was she was happy because I was happy like mm. I didn't hate the images so mm. that was the main thing and I think my main like worry like I wasn't nervous to shoot it until mm-hmm. on the way to the shoot in the car that like the drive up I was petrified <laughs> just because I thought like I haven't they don't know me like they've seen me on Skype calls I met the casting lady like two days before but I didn't I didn't want to be a catfish you know they've only seen my pictures <laughs> like my like my photo shoots yeah. so I didn't want to like disappoint like they'd spent a lot of time and money organizing this and I just didn't want to disappoint anyone so mm. I was so nervous for that reason um but then as soon as I got on set it was great like everyone was so lovely yeah um but yeah oh, I think my so mum nice. was happy that I had a good time mm-hmm. like a really nice experience shooting and everyone was lovely like I said like it's like a family so mm. yeah I imagine that when she heard like you know that your experience on set was so good and you were yeah. well looked after I think you know I imagine as a parent hearing your daughter being far put from up home, for Playboy like going far from home yeah, yeah not knowing a anyone stigmatized platform exactly yeah but once that was destigmatized I imagine mm-hmm. I like yeah I can imagine I it. think once she the saw some so of the different. shots as well she was like oh this is tasteful like it's not like yeah what yeah. it was that's what I was so. gonna say it's very tasteful it's not like yeah exactly it's Here not they your are. 80s 70s no, yeah. 90s playboy like no, yeah. they've yeah. rebranded imagery. themselves yeah. yeah yeah um and they're very tasteful indeed yeah um that's so part yeah. of the reason why I said yes as well like because yeah. it had moved on a lot like I didn't really know I think you everyone knows of Playboy, but I never looked into it like that. Like mm. I never. Only when I did my research, I was like, "Yeah, I'm glad it's not like that anymore," because <laughs> <laughs> I would not be doing it. <laughs> the three models in the magazine, um, they have like a all your images, and then like a big open centerfold, and then they have like an interview. And the interview <laughs> was done over the phone. Uh, so I was here they were in LA and I was like and I recorded it myself so I was like just in case like I said anything and it was taken out of context I was like oh I don't want that that's clever but then that's such a good no because they printed it word for word and I was like it wasn't good it wasn't bad but it's just me going on and on and on (laughs) (laughs) word for word they didn't like um obviously it cut out the whole like um or oh you know sure. army, but <laughs> but basically word for word yeah nice. wow and i was like okay. ah. you got what you wanted <laughs> yeah <no. laughs> should have put some different. filter on it <laughs> like um, now <laughs> so you, you the magazine comes out the response is amazing you've got a hundred thousand followers now <laughs> which is fantastic you start getting letters well we start getting letters oh, to the office to the agency yeah. yeah I didn't know how to take that at all I was like what do I do with them <laughs> yeah I, I was like what do I do with them <laughs> I was like Sophie come get your letters because they are weird were so, they, so were they addressed to Sophie they're addressed to Sophie but care of BAME models. because okay. I think I had BAME in my bio so yes, you did. they were like people were clever enough to be like oh Google the agency yeah mm. yeah. god these so people you, when they want something they'll find it yeah. so you were getting <laughs> letters from Switzerland America yeah. all over the place people giving you money to I, sign know, I think when I opened that in the agency I was like they gave me money what yeah. do I do with it <laughs> like what do I do with it? It but it's not, it's, it's not my currency either I was like what do I do <laughs> it's not my currency so it was like dollars, dollars it was like yeah. Swiss yeah. So it's, uh, euros and dollars yeah, yeah. Um, but I was just oh like what God. do I do with it and one was it, they were nice like they were saying nice things mm. they weren't yeah. like cringy either mm. they weren't like a bit like oh that's a bit mm. like yeah um Possibly not creepy, but I think it's because I'm not used. To, I, I'd never done it, like had anything like yeah. that. So it's a bit like I don't know if I'm weirded out or not. Like yeah. it's like in adoration yeah. kind mm. of thing. Um, and it was just something that I wasn't experienced, or you know, it was just a, I found it a bit odd at the time, but nice. Just a bit like they were nice letters. They were yeah, like, yeah. Can you please sign this? No thing for creepy, me? no rude, mm. or wow. you know, so they couldn't have asked for anything mm-hmm. <laughs> better, really. But did you feel like your privacy was becoming less private? That yeah, that's why I made a private Instagram. Because uh, um, okay. I feel like I've always wanted to post what I wanted to post in terms of work. But then I think as well with like personal life, like if I went out with friends and it was like on my birthday or like mm. someone else's birthday, I can't post that because then people getting loads of followers from because I posted them and they'll yeah. be like, Sophie, I don't like this. Like, oh, I'm I'm not 
a model like I don't you want, don't want that visibility that's, that's not a platform you know mm-hmm. for me so is that a conversation that you had yeah quite a few uh, of them oh, wow. so you were posting sort of your everyday on yeah your it was a mixture of modeling and every day and then now it's just modeling and every day like two separate where wow. I think I don't know if that's still working out for me like the modeling side because I'm like oh I don't want it. I want a bit of variety mm. variety in my on my page mm. but I think it's the best way in terms of privacy like I've yeah just two separate lives yeah basically. yeah mm. okay um yeah so the pictures have come out you've got your letters like you're you're at the peak of your mm-hmm. your fame. Do you, <laughs> do you then? Do you start getting noticed on the street? Do you start not getting here, noticed? Not in here. LA, yeah. Okay. Really? In America, yeah. What was that like? Was it like just a very s- awkward times? Like I was just. I think I was running for my flight and I went to the shop to buy like a water or something. And they're like, "Aren't you?" And I was like, "Can can I just give you my money, <laughs> Take please?" My money. <laughs> and then I think I was on the flight and Janine you were walking down to your aisle, like two seats. Um, there was a guy and a girl. And he clocked. And then I think she was like, what are you staring at? Because I've got really good hearing, so I can hear everything. But oh, I was like, wow. <laughs> like I, don't, I pretended I didn't know what was going on. Oh my God. And she was like, you've seen Playboy. And I was like, <laughs> oh no, it's gonna be, please don't break up in front of me. <laughs> They're definitely oh broken up. Oh my God. They're definitely broken up. It was like, a, she was like, <laughs> like looking me up and down. And I was no. like, hi. <laughs> I hope my British charm would kind of work out. <laughs> Not that I, I have it, but there's a currently thing called a British charm. Oh my goodness. Yeah. That, that, that was never a good time. Oh, no. like, I think there's another flight where I had, like, you know, long haul, you put your eye masks on and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And I was, like, look, looking you next to me. I've never well, I had to go straight to a shoot. I was like, I need prep here. <laughs> like, I need to prep for this. <laughs> um, so I had, like, eye masks on, like a lip mask or something. And I looked and I could just feel someone staring at me. It's like, oh, are they staring at me because they recognise me or because I've got the crap on my face? <laughs> Both. <laughs> but um, no, definitely more in America, not really here. Okay. Because um, okay. it's just not big here. Like, and I think they're based in America. Mm-hmm. Like, that's their main yeah. Yeah. thing. Yeah. Did it feel good? what to get recognized just the whole that, that experience up until that point did everything feel good yeah it yeah? was a positive experience overall mm. um the only like downside was like the like i said the descriptive yeah of stuff. course of um course. that was the only bit that was like no i don't like that like mm. i don't like yeah. that keep that to yourself like mm. i don't need to know that no one needs to know that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah um but yeah it's, that was like the worst bit i guess because i feel like a lot of guys and girls are chasing that kind of fame they're chasing that that day when they wake up and they have a hundred thousand followers. They're yeah. chasing the day when they go outside and people are going, "Oh, look, it's, it's that Sophie person." So yeah. when you actually finally get it, it's good to know that it actually feels good. Yeah, for a time period. I think period. because I didn't have yeah, it wasn't a constant and it wasn't like this blow up like everyone recognizes you. Mm. you know? So mm. it was kind of like a subtle like mm. once in a every, like once in a while. So it was kind of like. I could I could deal with that. It was fine. Yeah, <laughs> but I think any more I'd be a bit overwhelmed because nice. also I'd be like because of what how people recognise me. Be like, <clears throat> <laughs> so, <laughs> I'd be a bit like, oh, you're talking to me normally, but I know you've seen me kind of naked. <laughs> it's a bit awkward. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow the thing is I don't think people like I don't think I don't I don't see you and think oh I've seen her naked no I know but yeah. in my head not you but like yeah, people would yeah. be like oh I recognise you from yeah, Playboy yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Oh. and I feel like when it came to like talking about it um, in public my friends we called it PB <laughs> not Playboy so people don't go uh, oh you're in Playboy I'm like not weird, that I was ashamed yeah. of it but it was just there's a time and place you know yes. <laughs> <laughs> and when you're in like a like quiet cafe, a cafe yeah. Playboy no it's not the one so yeah. I did PB was a thing PB <laughs> oh, wow <laughs> I'm like that sounds worse PB peanut yeah. butter <laughs> that's what my mind it could yeah. be anything it's not you don't think oh that's Playboy <laughs> yeah PB uh, <laughs> personal best <laughs> personal best <laughs> you're in personal best <laughs> Um, um, okay, so we have the aftermath. Yes, <laughs> yeah. So bringing it to present day, shall we? Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, so when I was doing my research for this, <laughs> uh, for this episode, um, I noticed on your model Instagram that you didn't have any sort of posts regarding Playboy. Yeah, they're, they're archived. Yeah, talk us through that. Um, I think I struggled a bit with 
it's not like the main thing but mm-hmm. I think after Playboy like yes it boosted my like good like the, in the right direction of my career but I was putting like a sexy box that's mm. all people wanted to shoot right okay and I was a bit like I don't mind I think there might be a couple of, I'm not sure but I think okay. I got rid of some just so people weren't like oh that's all she does let's mm. book her for that yeah. yeah so I was just a bit and I think I went from one extreme to another like I've done a lot of bridal now <laughs> and I'm like I need to get out of that box because <laughs> um, I wanted I didn't want to, I think I'm kind of I know it's not with everyone but like the whole height thing is still kind of an issue for some people so I was like I'm already a bit stuck in, like, I'm already in a bit like um in the box called? in the box bracket? yeah um, you're kind of dis- disadvantaged yeah like I didn't want to bring more to that you mm. know like just by saying oh I only do like sexy stuff mm-hmm. you know yeah mm-hmm. um, so I kind of wanted to get out of that mm-hmm. sure. so that was the only thing like now I think now I wouldn't mind I mean I wouldn't do Playboy again or anything like that again because I think okay. once is enough like I got my images like it did what I wanted it to do mm-hmm. I'm happy with them and they're still there like I could still put them if someone wanted something like that I'd be like oh so here's this and then here's like an in between mm. so it's like I like versatile in a way you know but I wouldn't do it again just because it's done I feel like you need to do that stuff so many times before people are like okay put your clothes back on now you know <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> um, but um so and I think as well like it's obviously it's not the most important thing but in terms of dating mm. made it very hard like yeah. that was really tricky. in what sense well, they didn't want to date. <laughs> <laughs> How did, so what were the conversations like? Did you bring it to their attention? <laughs> I don't, like, what do you mean they didn't want to date? Like, did you bring it to their attention or they already knew? Well, they just had my Instagram. Oh, it was, was on like, your oh, Instagram. Oh, she's on the Playboy. Time. Like, don't need to date her. Like, they, I think people thought, oh, she's an escort or she's a. They like categorised you. Yeah, instantly. and I'm like, no, like I'm far from that. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm nothing. You know, I think I did one thing, mm-hmm. and yes, I'm happy with it. I'm glad I did it. But I think people, I don't think they know about it like I do. So they just thought, oh, she does that. Mm-hmm. That's what she does mm-hmm. for a living. Mm-hmm. She's a porn star. She's an escort. She's whatever. And I'm like, no. Just because I did one thing doesn't mean I'm that. Like, mm. have you not yeah. seen the rest of my page? Mm-hmm. I don't. Mm-hmm. There's other stuff yeah. there. It like overshadows everything. It else. does. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't think it would now because I think I have a lot of variety. Variety now, mm. but um, because I when I did it, I was quite new, so it was like, you know, the thing. Um, but yeah, it did make it a bit difficult. But I think now that it's, I don't really care. It's <laughs> back to the dating thing. Did they <laughs> did they not approach you, or did they approach you with different intentions? Different after intentions, what you, completely. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and wow. okay. And it just made it like oh, an eye roll, like another one mm. in the bin, like mm. you know, yeah. Like they start Bollocks. off really nice, and they're like, oh, so. Um, so you did Playboy and I was like straight to it <laughs> and then I, I soon gathered oh where, that, Boys where that was going to go <laughs> but I, after like a couple of, it happened a couple of times I knew where I knew well, the like the yeah. steps to it <laughs> so they start off like oh blah, blah, blah. And then like, oh you did Playboy and I'm like yeah okay done, done. <laughs> red flag block <laughs> done um, wow. yeah so it did make it a bit tricky but I kind of I mean I didn't know that was going to happen mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. kind of expected I guess yeah and was that quite frustrating for you what was your steps after that like for example now how do you if you don't mind me asking are you dating how do you navigate um, that now and those conversations mm, I am dating yeah yeah um complicated <laughs> but um always is yeah, yeah. When but is um young? I hope he doesn't watch this. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he does. I mean, <laughs> no, they, they, they do. Um, I have told if they've asked, like, oh, what's the biggest thing you've done because mm-hmm. it's not on. Like my, if it was on my Instagram, you've got to scroll right down now. So, okay. But a lot of people stalk now. Well, well research, but <laughs> I do as well. Like, if you're speaking to someone new, you do have a you scroll. You have a good look. You yeah. do have yeah. a scroll. You got it. And you do go on their tags mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. stuff like wow. that. Wow, that's research. <laughs> you do, you do research. Proper research. Girl, yeah. it's a girl. Maybe it's a girl thing. I don't Maybe. know. Maybe I don't know. Do guys do that? Uh, do guys no. go on the tags? <laughs> no. If, you got to go on the tag. That's where yeah. you see the real people. Uh, no, we don't. Well, I don't do that. It's weird. <laughs> it's, it's a girl thing. <laughs> yeah, it's a girl thing. It's not weird. It's just a girl thing. Okay. It's research, Marcus. <laughs> you don't want to see what you want to see because you may see something you don't want to see. No, that's true. That's yeah. that is when you get mm-hmm. hurt about these things. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, so your dating life now is fantastic. You got rid of those pictures. Everything's um, perfect. 
<laughs> that was a very through thing generalization there. <laughs> um, I'm a bit apprehensive about like telling just because I'm not sure it's something that oh I'm gonna go home, like bring her home to meet my mum you mm. know like but I'm not ashamed of it like if mm. it came up then be like yeah I did it you know mm. and I'll go into detail blah 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 but I wouldn't openly go like start off and be like. I did Playboy. Yeah, you know, be like, tell me a bit about yourself. Well, yeah, I, yeah, I, I wouldn't jump like into it. But if someone asked, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to yeah. hide it because they've obviously known and <laughs> know as well. Mm. So, um, but no, it's it's okay. Like it's not the end of the world. So yeah. it's um, a bit of stigma to it still. But I kind of knew what was like coming when I like signed up for it in a way sure I think the main thing that from what you've just said which is really great to hear is that you said you're not ashamed of it no the, yeah. the confidence is still very yeah, sort yeah. of high and you're still very self-assured in the decision that you made yeah. and I think that's really that's amazing because I can imagine you know in the wrong hands and in the wrong person doing something like this mm. one negative comment or some of the you know messages that you've received could really turn that experience for someone yeah but you've maintained the sense of it being such a positive experience and a real turning yeah. point in your career yeah I think really, I really try nice to stay idea. positive in every kind of aspect not just that I think that helped mm. yeah. because but I think maybe that's just who I am like I was always trying to see the positive side like I did have a good think whether I should do it or not like when that time when it was coming up but um yeah, I just, I think the goods kind of outweighed the bad, the bad. And the bad was the fact that once they're out there, they're out there. Mm -hmm. But if I'm confident enough to do it, then why um, just do it? Mm. You know, yeah. you, you've only got one life, <laughs> um, mm. one shot at it. It might not come around again. Yeah. And it did what I wanted it to do, like, like career-wise, so. I think you hit the nail on the head there when you were saying that your decisions have all been based on you being very confident in your judgment hmm. in your own personal judgment yeah. yeah and you've stuck by it and you've done things yeah. and you're like yeah I did that yeah. you've owned up to it you haven't gone oh I didn't do that that's no, yeah, not no, me yeah. Yeah. yeah but I don't think that's like a good way you're going to feel crappy down the line if you keep For doing sure. that like of even course. if you do it one time you're still going to feel a bit like on edge and like Absolutely. or a bit really bad about it. like you're going to feel worse mm. so you may as well just get it over and done with and like see a good like the good side of it mm. rather than just thinking negatively mm -hmm. I don't know it's where, just, where does that come from where does that because even at the beginning of, your, of this interview straight away you said I'm very determined like if something puts me down I'm gonna keep going I'm gonna keep going until I get what I need um, yeah where does that come from do you think is it from your parents or maybe I think I don't know my nan I'm really close to my nan she's very negative so maybe I'm like opposite, <laughs> totally opposite. balance it out a little but, um, bit yeah I think, yeah, I don't know. I think I've always just tried to, I think that's how I kind of overcome the whole shyness and like just, because I think I was always scared of being embarrassed because I didn't want to be like a fool, you know, like even in school, like, do you know when you like um, have to put your hand up for the question and they, they pick you to answer? I know the question, but I'd never put my hand up. Mm -hmm. I'd know the answer, sorry, but I'd never put my hand up because I didn't want to be wrong and I didn't want to be embarrassed. Mm. And I think when I grew up and like was surrounded by the good, like a by a good like supportive bunch of people that's when I was like actually it doesn't matter like if you do the wrong things it's fine and I think they kind of helped definitely in terms of being like the looking on the positive side like if something goes wrong don't panic I used to panic so much yeah. but now I'm like actually there's always another like there's a plan b there's a plan c it's yeah, fine absolutely. Um, yeah so I think it's gradually got there I've never I've not always been like that like positive I think I've definitely over time just something that's just fallen into place really mm -hmm. but you know if you think about it you've achieved what you wanted to achieve when you were a kid you said you wanted to be a model yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you've either passively or subconsciously got yourself to that point yeah I think it's to do with confidence though I think like I never had the confidence to say that out loud back when, when I was younger but I think the more I've done it the more mm. I'm like, even now, do you know, like you meet someone new and they're like, oh, what do you do? I'm like, oh, model. Mm. <laughs> but like, I think before when I first started saying it, I was scared. It was not scared, but I was worried it was, it was going to come across a bit like um, pretentious almost. Yeah, yeah, like, oh, I'm a model, you know. Mm. Um, yeah. But now I'm like, oh, I'm a model, you know, it's fine. Like, think of that as you will. Like, I don't just met you, don't care. <laughs> I love that. It's that self assurance because we've had this conversation with so many of our guests, sort of like, how do you introduce yourself? And it is a, because it's yeah. a short one. It's like, oh, I'm a model. Mm. Like, yeah. it, and that's it. Yeah. yeah. You know? Uh -huh. 
No, I love Sorry, that. I've interrupted. Yeah. <laughs> no, not what at were all. you saying? No, I was just saying. I think that's you know the the confidence, the self assurance, and where you are now versus what you uh, how you were when you said you were a child is amazing. Yeah. That difference in being able to just be like, this is who I am. Yeah, take it or leave it. I think you've got to be though. Like, I don't think you're going to be like that way all the time. But I think you'll eventually get to that bit where you realise there's. You, there's no you can't just waste time like life thinking oh you know yeah just kind of just see the bright side of things mm-hmm. right? which mm-hmm. is probably the best way because you never know what could happen like you know I think I've had a lot of like um, family like struggles with like health and stuff and I think that's probably helped because you realise there's not you don't know how if you can't be in regret you know with what your decisions and everything so I think that's definitely been a big part really when you think when you ask me like positive side I think that's actually where it's come from your family yeah I think like with the the, the what's happened yeah. in the last few years mm. that's definitely yeah 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 so what's your obviously you've planned yourself your future up until this point it's working out pretty good mm. what's your future What's your plan for the future? Oh, I, don't <laughs> <laughs> I don't plan that far. Away. <laughs> no, I know I want to do um, some bits abroad, like with work. Mm-hmm. Um, I still want to do modelling. Still want to focus on that. But I think, as much as I love London, UK, blah blah, blah I do definitely want to like venture out, see what else is out there. Because I love travelling as well. Like I love to see new places and see like the different cultures and stuff like that mm-hmm. and I think mm-hmm. that's what's so good about modeling like you can have a holiday and work in one um not a holiday but just like a chance to just see, see somewhere love, else yeah um it's something new every time and I think that's what I just love mm-hmm. um and like meet new people and stuff like that but I think that's as far ahead as I got as you've planned. <laughs> but yeah. it's I'm plan I'm wanting to go like um in the winter so I miss the crappy cold <laughs> It's a seasonal thing. Yeah, I go in it. like j- January, March to like Australia or Cape Town, one of those. Wow. Yeah. You're making notes. I am making notes. <laughs> <laughs> That's what my friends did this year. I was like, I need to make that. That's notes. genius. <gasps> yeah, they missed the snow in February and I was like, this, <laughs> I need to do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I love mm. that. Um, any, any sort of last words to kind of round out? I don't think the so. <laughs> um, can't really remember what I've said all this time. <laughs> been pretty insightful stuff. It's been on. incredible, yeah. <laughs> what Especially. would you, I think uh, my last question would be, what advice would you give to anyone who was in your position, who is in your position that you were in before you started modeling? What would be your key advice to them? Um, if it's something you really want to do, like at least give it a go, because you don't know unless you tried. Um, and I think, I don't know I think you'll soon find out if it's for you or not like it's very like cutthroat like you know if you're good at it because people will say oh I don't like that or mm. Mm, I don't think you're cut out for this mm-hmm. so I think you will learn but I think if it's something you really want to do at least try um, because you don't know what could happen so uh, just have a bit of passion then <laughs> I think you'll be okay <laughs> just uh, yeah love that that's brilliant advice mm. <laughs> love it amazing well thank you so much thank you for joining us you're incredible thank you for listening to me go on probably <laughs> <laughs> no honestly it was so like Marcus said insightful yeah to just hear the I story I don't think of... as well like, I don't think Playboy do that anymore like they don't think do they not. have mod- they don't have actual magazines they don't no oh. I think they went off print didn't they in 2020 mm. oh, wow. they don't COVID. do the whole model thing I think they have like um, kind of like only fan situation Oh, so really? yeah, like models where kind of like have a bunch of models and they shoot. I'm not too sure, um, but they've gone completely different. Completely huh. different. Wow. I think they've like the family that I had kind of laid everyone off, and I'm like, well, my family's gone. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, but like the girls are still there. Like, I still talk to the girls and everything. But um, yeah, yeah, I think it's completely different Playboy now. So yeah. I think I've seen the last ever issue. So oh wow. Oh my god well i think we'll bring you back for a conversation about that yeah that sounds really interesting <laughs> yeah it does i have to yeah. do more research <laughs> 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 research <laughs> um, sophie thank you so much thank you. you've been amazing um kez do you want to take us out we still don't have an outro we can let sophie take us out oh no yeah any outro anything <laughs> <Bye>. <laughs>